YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are back with another weekly challenge, and this one is called Deja Vu. This one feels pretty nostalgic, don't you think? I've seen this one before, and it is a really fun challenge. Basically, it tries to emulate in the settings of current Phasmo how old Phasmo used to play like. If you haven't played the game since it first came out, it has changed a ton in the many years that it has come out, and today we're going to be seeing what it used to look like, or at least somewhat used to look like back in the day so i hope you enjoy that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go we got gloria marsh we're not gonna be sprinting huh yeah look at this <laughs> so uh one of the many changes which i definitely don't miss we are slightly faster though which is kind of nice we're like 125 percent speed you had a sprint when the game first came out however it was extremely pathetic and basically just slightly increased your movement speed which is pretty much like this so if you just help the sprint you would just move at this speed there was no like short sprint burst like we have nowadays we also only had the shitty equipment we have the shitty f the the old oh yeah the green that was one of the things i complained about the most when they changed it they changed the night vision on the camera to not be green anymore. I definitely miss that, but obviously we still got the tier 1, but the tier 1 kind of stinky. I gotta start with that. We have the... They couldn't bring back the old models, obviously, but yeah, we used to have a white emf sensor uh we used to have a yellow thermo the yellow thermo kind of iconic we also have this i like that they added this one because visually it looks like the old one the old one was like this giant burrito <laughs> which looked extremely ridiculous we also only had two light they changed the amount of items yeah now we can have three salt you used to only have two salt you used to only have two lighters the old Paramic trippy cat, thank you for the tick of subs. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna head in there without any sprint. Now, I don't know if they've reduced the ghost speed because one of the major aspects that we used to do in old Phasmo was loop the ghost. That was basically the main strategy of every single person playing the game. Uh, you wouldn't hide because hiding was actually bad. Now, you could hide in the lockers and you would generally be safe. Uh, but you would also be missing out on information that you could gather dur during the hunt. So what most people would do is just go to a hiding spot or do a looping spot and just loop it around here. Why was that so effective? Because back in the day, the ghost wouldn't speed up. It's actually the biggest change they've ever done. Oh, yeah, the breaker should have been on from the start, actually. That's a, that's a, that's inaccurate inaccurate right there also we're gonna have a ouija, ouija board aren't we because that used to be the only cursed possession the board i'm gonna leave this here for now because we definitely gonna have to grab it from that search it's gotta be i don't know if this is amateur uh Shuxi, thank you for the four uh the breaker is off so probably not 75 percent ghost speed so it speeds up slowly over time i mean they obviously couldn't be taken away that would be something that i would really love to see imagine for this one week we'd actually have old phasmo like available for everyone that would be so cool it would obviously suck for the devs to implement something that large for only a week but still it would be really freaking fun if that would actually be possible um where are you oh there we go finally garage i just heard the door there so that was kind of a waste of time goodbye goodbye this, the board had actually only a 30% chance of spawning. Which did is, I played on Old Phasmo. Funnily enough, I played on it recently. Oh, God. Fuck! Are we gonna loop? We gotta try, right? That is extremely slow, but it also sounded fast. We gotta give it a shot. Hello, ghost! Hello! Hello, hello? Oh, boy. Uh, hello, ghost? Hello? Wait, yokai? <laughs> oh god, it's gonna get faster. Oh no! No! Ah! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it might actually genuinely be a yokai, I'm not sure. Yeah, the hiding spots should all be available. What? Scam? They, they That is not a mechanic. They definitely messed up a bit with the setting. It's not as immersive because the there's no hiding spots what the fuck okay i guess they wanted to to emulate having to loop the ghost which is what most people used to do but there was no blocking of any hiding spots back in the day they've done so many changes to make the game way harder probably if you only like if you only played the game in 2020 and you're playing it now it's like a, you just get killed over and over again because it's so much harder than it used to be 
because all the hiding spots were available. You could loop every single ghost. Uh, there were way less ghosts, so you would, by just guessing, you'd have double the chance than you have now. Like right now, it's it's way rarer. Um, not having a sprint. Yeah, there was lots of stuff that sucked though. <laughs> Many things. We have like rose tinted glasses on uh, for old Phasmo. It's two degrees. Let me place that there. Where are you? Are you here? Hello? And we're back there. I'm gonna walk into the ghost like an insane person. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Was I can't... Taken away. Okay, okay. We can't have the E back. Man, imagine they bring back old spear box for a second. Um, okay, spear box, let's go. I'm assuming we have all evidence, otherwise it would be insane. No E. Sag. 1.1. I fucking hate this thing, man. <laughs> one flat? It needs to be below one to count as freezing. So this is probably not freezing. Oh, never mind. There you go. 0 0.4 is already freezing. Uh, anything below one will lead to freezing, as long as you see it on this one. Um, okay, Unreal the Twins Mimic Moro. It seemed to... Let's look for orbs as well. We have the camera right here, right? Excuse me, did I drop that somewhere? I dropped it right there. Come on. Give us the green orbs. Could be for Mimic. Oh, uh, orbs? It's Unreal or it's Mimo. <laughs> Il Mimo? The everything goes. Wait, so what are we looking for then? We're looking for UV... Or, okay, so I need to grab my UV. They also don't have dots, probably, because dots was an evidence that got completely added, which still fucks with me to this day, by the way, because they had all the evidence set up. I had it all memorized. I would just run in there. Ne you have to memorize it as well, because the journal right now, we are spoiled children with this insanely efficient journal. You had to, like, go through a, a like... A toggle list of three evidence which was insanely annoying you couldn't like at one glance see which ghost had what evidence you would have to like one by one toggle them in go through them okay so it's not these go through them again like it was just annoying as fuck did i gain sanity wasn't i at 66 one what i swear i was at 66 and then maybe i no i didn't take an extra pill i'm a, i'm a little confused how does that even work yeah, we have no dots because dots is not an evidence. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab photo cam. Why did? Oh yeah, you because you used to always have three cams because you could only take five pictures per cam. Um, Sixty nine sanity, nice. Uh, let's grab UV and then salt. Not a thing you could do uh, in the old times, uh, which is placing salt and seeing fingerprints. That used to be that was one of the most asked questions of all time. Does fingerprints in this- does, does footsteps in the salt mean fingerprints? People always ask that. Tell me you're a new player without telling me. Was- We can- Oh, we still can't play- we can't place three. Um... Well, I need you to walk through here. Can you walk through this, please? It's not gonna do it, because you're stinky. Uh, for an Unreal, it would be... Uh, just the candle interaction. Temp check. I mean, it's got to be freezing by now, right? Oh, uh, that's a touch thing. It's actually Mimo. It's Il Mimo. <laughs> so there you go. This would completely break the brain of any old Phasmo player. What? We have four evidence? How does this work? Ah. So yeah, we get Il Mimo, which is not a very, <laughs> not a very old ghost, but hey, in spirit, maybe. Um, so yeah, Mimic is the only ghost that will give you four evidence. None of the other ghosts will. Also, especially on no evidence, Mimic is easy as hell. Uh, because you'll just get the orbs, which doesn't make any sense, so then you immediately leave. Alright, well that is uh, our first game. Obviously, we're doing it on Tanglewood as well. Uh, Tanglewood is the absolute classic map. I love Tanglewood. Uh, what the hell? My, my tripod is... I forgot that I put that there. It's a little stuck. There we go. Il Mimo indeed. Alright, first game of three. Let's hop back in. Okay, so we started, we got Lori. We started with the camera. Now we got to start with the old classic. The old classic was Thermo and Photocam. Because Thermo was OP as hell. I think maybe that's why they start with Breaker Off, so that you have more of the... No, that doesn't make any sense either. 
I don't know. The breaker must be an oversight. Them not turning on the breaker by default, because that was one of the... There's just a few slight changes like that that really have impacted the gameplay. Like, le the breaker being on by default, especially on big maps, means you just didn't have to... Oh, wait, no, it is on. Wait, did the ghost turn it? No, never mind. Maybe the ghost turned it off. <laughs> wait, did that happen? Wait, the ghost turned it off in the time that I walked from there to here in the previous game? Are you kidding me? That's actually what a troll, dude. It must be on by default. It's no, the ghost turned it on? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Wait, really? Breaker's off by default, so the ghost turned it on? Okay, well, it can't be on, dude. That's damn sneaky. What the hell? Excuse me? Okay, nine degrees. I mean, we gotta use the, the board again. That was always special. Especially on the big maps, man. It made no fucking sense at all. Because you used to have... Like, the board was just sprinkled around in random locations on Asylum. So not only would it only spawn 30% of the time, but it would also be, like, somewhere in a bathroom up in the... <laughs> the hallways of Asylum somewhere. Actually impossible to find that shit. Uh, we're gonna ask again. They can't... The old board I definitely also don't miss, because the old board was way worse than this one. Instead of just giving you an answer and costing you sanity, it used to have a, I don't know, like 40% chance to just not give you an answer at all and drain a bunch of sanity. Uh, luckily, we're not dealing with that anymore. Uh, where are you? Living room? How many pickles can you fit up your ass? Goodbye. It said the number. It said one pickle. Oh shit, are you faster? I feel like this is definitely faster. If it's you, if it's seventy five percent speed. Wait, Raichu? It's a Raichu. <laughs> as soon as it steps in the air, where my thermo is, boom! It's fast. It could be. I mean, it could be haunted as well. Let, let's check the temperature. Uh. Nah, it's 13 degrees. I gotta be right you. All right, that was extremely quick. Quick. This actually has also completely shifted. No evidence has gotten so much more fun and so much more interesting. We actually, I used to think that no evidence was impossible. Little did, like, even back when there were only 12 ghosts, I was like, this shit is so hard. Like, every time I did challenges for the first time, I remember it took me like 300 levels before I even, um, before I even did my first solo run. Like, I think for my level 300, I did a solo asylum special. I was like, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna do solo asylum, and now we don't even bat an eye. There you go, it was indeed a Raichu. But, um, the footstep speed was the same for every single ghost. It did turn on the breaker right, or right as I walked in, that's so funny. Um, so it's off by default. So that, that is a mistake then, from the, uh from the devs, but hey, we can all, we can let them know. Um, also, they can't bring back the old paramic that literally covered up like 40% of your scream, screen. <laughs> like, it was absolutely horrendous. It sucked so much. Um, but the ghosts all had the same footsteps, which didn't matter that much because there were only two ghosts with different speed. That was only the Jin and the Revenant. Those were the only ghosts with different speed levels. Since then, we've seen Hantu, Twins, Mimic can obviously be everything. Thay, Moroi, like so many of the new ghosts. Actually, you can see it over here, by the way. All these first 12 were all the standard ghosts. These have all been added since. So like Hantu, Twins, Raichu, Mimic, Moroi, Dio, Thay, like half the ghosts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually over half the ghosts have different speeds. The only two of these had different speeds, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So I'm glad that they eventually added the fact that you can see the, um, or that you can hear the ghost speed because it would be fucked up. Like being it, how would you ever distinguish? Like you don't realize how much the audio matters, um, for the distinguishing what the ghost speed is until you play on old Phasmo again. Because old Phasmo, like, figuring out if something is a gin is super hard. You have to, like, look at the... Is it, did it get slightly faster there? Because there were also no different animations. Like, all the animations were the exact same speed. There was no... Uh, 
like right now when a ghost is fast the animations also speed up which so you can visually see it you can hear it you can like also uh, see the distance uh, yeah it was it's off this time um oh well it already touched the door i guess i don't have to do this uh where though now there were other tricks you could do like taking a photo that's actually relatively recent that you could take a photo oh all the doors are closed too look at that because all doors clo started closed <laughs> actually they, he touched the door but i don't see no door open was it over here 10 degrees how many pickles i opened that door right is it in did it touch the closet in here maybe can we turn this so did they finally are they finally gonna why are they when what the fuck man when are they bringing this back this is so stupid i guess i finally have to report it as a bug <laughs> like clearly this is not god damn it i take a screenshot when are we we gotta bring back thomas wilson man shit's so annoying this used to have like a login screen, but then one update, they just broke it and they never bothered to add it back. They just, oh, here it is. Uh huh. So it touched the door without touching a door? What the fuck? None of the doors here are open. What a scam. All right, we'll leave this here. I can actually take a photo. That's another thing I definitely don't miss is the fucking horrible photo system. Holy shit. I mean, it was, it was kind of fun because it was way more important. Literally half your money came from photos also that's a big fat juicy emf5 which also used to be super easy this has always been a thing being able to see emf5 on the board has always been a thing um but for example when it came to throws in order to take a photo of a of a throw you had to take the photo of where the item started rather than where it ended up so if the ghost threw for example this right here from this on the ground you'd have to remember where the item used to be then take a photo of the empty spot like look at this empty spot there used to be an item here instead of taking like look at this item on the ground this is what the ghost just threw <laughs> it's kind of stupid where are you are you here photo delete feature when fucking i don't even know at this point we've been waiting for that for so fucking long <laughs> so hopefully there's an update soon where are you oh are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you in this room? Are you even in this? Uh, seven degrees. It's doing lots of throws. It's cold as freaking there. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you friend? Oh, Jesus. I definitely, that's one of the main things I miss. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I have, like, semi-nostalgia for because it's just fun. Oh, aim at five. There you go. Uh, but the ghost events were so good. Uh, because they used to... And I don't understand why they didn't bring that back since. But basically, a ghost could be completely quiet unless you looked at it. What the fuck? Unless you looked at the ghost, it didn't make any sound. So you could have, like, the doors closing around you and be like, wait a minute, is this a ghost event? And then you would turn around and suddenly it would be like, boom, 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 right behind you. So you'd, like, turn around and suddenly get jump scared to fuck. It was so, <laughs> it was so dynamic and fun. Now you always hear the ghost events, even when you're not facing them. I've definitely got my sanity drained like crazy there. I didn't even use the board, right? Wait. Is this Oni? Oni? Probably. Wait, what is Oni? Let's see. Uh, we have freezing temperatures and dots. Well, I'm not going to have dots, so that kind of stinky. But that's fine. Uh, let's bring all the stuff. Could be gin as well. Gin would be UV and freezing. So freezing regardless, probably. So yeah, I would definitely like the return of something. Like, imagine the ghost spawns, like... They have... Because the ghosts kind of just do their own shit. They do walk towards the player. But it would be fun if they're, like, special ghost events where they spawn behind you or something. <laughs> like, more intelligent behavior when it comes to ghost events. Um, do we have thingies? I had... Didn't I have salt? Or did there just... Oh, there we go. No thingies. 
EMA 5 again. Just turn off the breaker. No, you didn't. Okay, EMA 5 and no thingy, so it's not a gin. Wait, oh no, it can't still be that. Is it freezing? It is definitely freezing. This is totally gonna be an Oni, which will be Dot. So then, Onis were... I mean, there's been a lot of stuff that has made it easier. I think just what we've seen overall is a huge shift towards doing stuff... What the fuck? The items disappear when I move to the back here? A huge shift towards, uh, like, more interaction with the ghost during a hunt. It used to just be hide during a hunt or, like... Uh, loop during a hunt. Oh god. Whatever you want. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Um, like you could loop during a hunt, which was just mostly done for fun and for showing off. Let me check my sanity again. Uh, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Cleanse the ghost. But there was very little stuff you could actually figure out during a hunt. You could figure out a phantom. You could figure out a gin and a revenant. And that was basically it, right? Like, what else could you... Wait, let me see. Um, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, Poltergeist couldn't figure out during a hunt because no ghost would throw anything during a hunt. Wraith couldn't figure that out during a hunt because the ghost wouldn't step in salt during a hunt. Nor that the Wraith would also step in salt, by the way. Spirit, you couldn't figure out during a hunt. I guess outside of the smudge, obviously. You could smudge and then figure it out after. Uh, Banshee, you couldn't. Mary, you couldn't. Shade, Demon. I mean, Demon, I guess, if it early hunts. You're a Oni. None of these had hunting abilities. They've definitely added, tweaked some abilities down the line. Such as, that I'm gonna do right now, is figuring out an Oni during the hunt. I think they... I, I left it there, right? Um, yeah, only like Jin and Rev, which is just... I mean, right now, we can do Wraith during a hunt. You can do Polter during a hunt. You can do uh, Oni during a hunt, which is just like more than double the amount of ghosts out of that set you can figure out during on miling but miling like all these ghosts obviously but these are new like almost every single ghost here has a way to figure it out during a hunt but those are uh not the first 12 ghosts banshee as well i mean B banshee you could have also figured out no i mean banshee always used to work like just targeting the did that actually work like that i don't even know because i'm not i didn't i played very little multiplayer i don't actually know if Banshee always only target at one person. Do I not have a lighter? I do have a lighter. How many pickles can you fit up your bum? How many pickles can you fit up your ass? Hello? How many pickles can you fit up your bum? One pickle. <laughs> oh, God. Where are you? Um... You fucking liar! Goodbye? Oh, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> it's definitely an Oni. Look at that Oni blinking. Hello? Hello? Look at that freaking blink, 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 blink. Uh, come back! I'm gonna smudge now, just so I have the smudge objective. You can just see it, like, blink super fast. Now, the Oni, they did take away one ability from the Oni, which is that it used to have, um... Like, basically a pol semi-poltergeist ability, where it would throw an item really fast and really far. Uh, which they can't do anymore, which is a shame. I don't know, I always- I always liked that the Oni was, like, a semi-poltergeist. It was both more active when it came to ghost events, and more active when it- or more powerful when it came to throws. But yeah, there you go. We got Oni. Uh, this is our- that's our only classic ghost we've had out of these three games. But yeah, we've earned our rite of passage once again through the lands of Old Phasmo, as well, uh, Jack Remington. Thank you for the five months. Um, I- I mean, there's just mostly nostalgia for me. It's, it's so much better now than it ever used to be, but man, was it, was, like, some of, if you walk around on the old asylum, it just brings back so many, like, <laughs> old memories. There you go. Was it Oni? Give me, I get a thousand bucks. Thank you so much. I'm never going to use that. And we get 5,000 experience. Let me know how that went for you. Let me know what your favorite story is of old Phasmo. When did you start playing this game, first of all? Maybe a lot of people have, I know I still get comments that are like, I just started playing Phasmo. 
I'm so glad I found your videos because now I know how to play the game, which is kind of crazy to me because I've already been playing it for like four years by now. So we're ancient, man. So yeah, let me know when you started playing. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, these two. So if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, love the game and share in chat. You can join us over Twitch.tv slash Instagram. The link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.